You know when you're searching for something you just can't put into words? Yeah, let's fix that. Right now, social search just feels broken. It's like a Stone Age tool in our information age. So you're looking for something super specific and you just get a wall of noise. It's like shouting into a void. But what if search understood meaning, not just keywords? That's exactly what semantic social search does. So here's the difference. We're moving from just counting keywords to actually understanding context. It's a huge leap. Think of it this way. It's not data mining anymore. It's meaning mining, a totally different ballgame. So how does this all work? It's a three-step engine. It understands language, pulls in data, and then connects the dots. The AI is so nuanced. It gets the difference between, say, ambitious and objective-oriented. It's incredible. And it can even see abstract ideas, like stoicism, not from a keyword, but from a whole pattern of behavior. So it pulls together your digital footprint from everywhere, LinkedIn, X, you name it, to build a full picture. So we have this powerful engine. What are the actual real world uses? Let's get into it. For marketing, you can find creators who actually align with your brand's values, not just who has the most followers. And for networking, think bigger than job titles. You can find people based on shared philosophy or motivation. Researchers can use this to spot emerging trends, to see the next big thing before it even hits the mainstream. And for the rest of us, it means finally finding that perfect niche community you've been looking for. This power is incredible, right? But there's always a but. What's the hidden price we pay for it? This tech opens up a huge ethical minefield. We're talking about privacy, consent, and even algorithmic bias. And legally, it's a tightrope walk. You've got GDPR, CCPA, plus every platform's own rules to deal with. And this is just the beginning. The next step is integrating things like video and even your tone of voice. What this really means is we're shifting from a world of metrics to a world that's all about meaning. But this whole thing only works if the tech's sophistication is matched by really robust privacy controls for us. Which leaves us with one last question. Is finding that perfect connection worth giving up control over our identity? 